today I finally get my hands on a golf club that you lot have been telling me to try for quite some time. And it is in fact a channel first. I have never ever tested any clubs from this brand in all the time that I've been filming videos on YouTube. You lot tell me I'm making a big mistake. Like I said, I finally got my hands on this brand and uh, we'll see, first shot of the day. Well, based on that one, wow, that's an incredible start. It would suggest that you lot are right because that was, uh, well, it felt really good. I really liked it at address. It flew off the club face, launched the ball incredibly high. It's gone a fair old distance. Maybe I should have listened to you all along. You see, a question that arises quite frequently on the channel is, well, suggestions. Why don't I review this product or why don't I review that product and certain brands? And the simple answer to that question is, I simply work with the brands that are prepared to work with me because it's not easy to access every product. And from this particular brand in terms of the UK, it's available through one uh, retailer. I have got no relationship with the brand whatsoever in terms of communication, so I just cannot get hold of samples of this product. But you asked for it so much, I went out and I bought one for myself. Wow, go ball. Woo. That's a golf shot. So we've got 190 to the flag. I've not stuck it pin eye, that's come up a little bit short, but that ball did not move from the line I intended and absolutely flew off this club face. So, and what is the brand? And what is the brand? I like that. So the club in question, or more importantly, first of all, the brand in question, well, that is Tor Edge. I have seen so much, uh, well, so many good reports about how good this brand is in terms of what they make right throughout the range. And, uh, well, I've got today with me a real interesting club. And let's see if two hybrids from the first and a birdie putt to start the day. Roll out ball. Roll out, decent pace, decent start. Tour edge, just how good are these golf clubs that you've been telling me about? So the product is the C721 Hybrid and it uh, claims to have a lot of forgiveness, extreme MOI, which is uh, really key to me. It's a five hybrid and the reason I bought that five hybrid is because it possibly fits a gap in my bag that I'm really interested in filling and get into that gap with, uh, well, the easiest way possible, hence the hybrid option. It's got 25 degrees worth of loft. I'll tell you what it does in terms of out here, performance wise, in reality, on the golf course. And uh, we'll also get some dry ball data and see how good this thing really is for 149 UK pounds. Well, before we consider how good these golf clubs are in terms of the performance out here in the golf course and some dry ball data later, I just want to talk about just how good this product line looks. It's so impressive. I've got to say, this hybrid, which I'm testing out here today, cost me 149 quid. Now, when you can put that in comparison, first of all, to the other products in the marketplace, it gains a lot of favorability. So, before it arrived, I'm questioning just how good is it gonna look in terms of its build quality? Why is it so cheap, in other words? And I've gotta say, it's the complete opposite to what I was expecting. It looks superb, the quality of build is superb. From a dress, it looks really, really good indeed. I love the profile, I love the white lines that give me plenty of loft at a dress, gives me plenty of confidence. And then from a shelf appeal perspective, it looks pretty good, doesn't it? Right, next shot, I've come to the blue tees, which is not my normal choice, but we're paying 172. Um, can't quite work out the win, but this is a real test for this kind of club. We're probably a little bit closer than, um, than we'd want to be, maybe 180, but let's see if we can find a green and see what it does in terms of stopping or not. Because like I said, this is where I'm looking for a bit of help. This kind of yardage, this kind of golf hole, happens with a five hybrid in hand. It's a really good strike that it's just leaked out a tad right. I'm going to grab the right hand side of the green, which I've done. The interesting thing for me and what I was keeping my eye on is how it comes down and how it stops. And it's 
It's not stuck, it's not, there's no spin on there, it's not coming back, it's not that type of shot, and from this kind of distance, that's not what's gonna happen, but it looks to me, from its pitch mark, it's stopped within a couple of yards, and like I said, a little leak out to the right, but a real solid knock, and uh, yet again, still super impressed with what this golf club does. Wow, what a horrible pin placement that is. This'll be, uh, well, we'll be lucky if we keep this on camera. We've got to get dead weight to the top of the brow. Go a little bit more, this could be good. Just get there, just get there. Oh my word, oh my word. Oh, this game is, uh, it's easy, isn't it? Hybrid, 40 footer, birdie. Right, so whilst I get over the excitement of, uh, well, that birdie and just, well, I don't know, I quite like this putter after all. Let's go inside very, very quickly to have a look at uh, dry ball data. So yeah, I've been hitting a number of balls here this morning, just trying to figure out exactly where this club fits in. It's got, like I said, that's so much loft and 25 degrees as a comparison. It sort of sits in and around my six iron. Um, so what does it do? differently than my six iron. Well, that for starters. And that being launches the ball incredibly high, which can be a positive and a negative, but a lot of people struggle with launch and they certainly wouldn't get a six iron doing anything like what I've just done with my hybrid, or at least I wouldn't anyway. Totally different ball flight, but it's the power it generates off of the club face. It's those ball speeds again, that once again from that iron head, I couldn't compete with. I'm not gonna get the distance, I'm not gonna get the launch. I'm certainly not gonna get the forgiveness when I compare my iron equivalent to what I can get out of this five hybrid. Right, so next up is the type of scenario where I want this type of club in the bag. And I want to know whether Tor Edge can, uh, well, can do a decent job for me. Water all down that left-hand side. We want to go, uh, well, let's have a little go at turning this one from right to left a little bit and being as close to that water when the ball comes to rest. But, uh, but not in it. Right. Sits really good at address, you know. Love it. Right, come on. Don't overcook it. Okay. You see the ball flight's coming in off that bunker. It's still turning in. A little bit more cautious maybe, but we got the right shape of shot. We're banging in the middle of the fairway. And yet again, the thing I keep saying is I can't do this with as much confidence with a five iron. But it's not about five iron comparison, I don't suppose. It's about how good this club is performing. And out here on the golf course, we've already seen dry ball data, which has just reaffirmed what I found out here on the course is that this club for me, is carrying in and around that sort of 180 mark. Ball flight is really, really good on it. We're playing into the wind a bit here as well, and that didn't sort of float, so I'm quite impressed with the way that uh, ball traveled into the breeze as well. But it just does it really well. I mean, it's a real, I don't know whether it's a surprise or not. I've never tested the brand before in my life, but from the minute I opened the packaging, the first surprise was just how good it looked. I think it's a superb looking club. And it performs really, really well time after time. And I've no hesitation and this is gonna go into my bag. And uh, I just like the idea, the more options there are for us average golfers out there, the better. And the fact that this is priced at 149 pound, much more realistic compared to those top brands out there. And uh, I think there's another video that I'm filming along the way today uh, because of this, how good this performed. And that is a head to head video with uh, the TaylorMade Stealth 5 Hybrid as well. And uh, you need to tune in in the next uh, few days and just see how it compares to that one. Anyway, thank you for watching. Thanks to Carden Park. Course has been sensational. Weather's been a bit indifferent. I've had a great morning. I absolutely love my new 5 Hybrid from Tor Edge. Give it a go.